Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. <laughs> What's popping? What's going on in the life of an Aquarius? Hmm? Hmm? Did you miss me? Because <laughs> I miss you. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> hey, boo, hey, this is your first time you're my channel. I'm Oka. Also, if this is your first time you're my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Thank you in advance for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss, however. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We share. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Positive vibes only. Okay? Return to family. Wish popping, gang, gang. Are you guys ascending out here? It, 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 it looks like Aquarius has, has adapted, has adapted the ability to say, fuck it. Two tears in the bucket. Fuck it. <laughs> this will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Aquarius for the month of July 2019, the first half. Okay. Gemini's thus far have showed their ass with the views. Libra want to cut me and they are coming real soon. Um, I was to go live with Libra if you're trying to cross watch for Libra. Um, my damn power core doing what he want to do. Mercury retrograde decided he wants to kick me in the face early. So I'm going to try to go live, but I ain't making no damn promises. Hey, come on, put the ass. Go sit down. Go sit down. Nope. Nope. You stuck like Chuck. Please excuse puppy ass. Some of y'all may have Sagittarius just trying to barge into your life. He's, he's a Sagittarius. Maybe that's for somebody. Puppy ass with the barging. Boss hog got lost. All right. <laughs> if you need a personal reading, you guys, that information can be found within the description. This, this reading not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does. Leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe don't fit, don't try and put that motherfucker on. Because you're going to fall, sis. You're going to fall, bro. Okay? Let's rock. <clears throat> All right, Aquarius, intuitively, for the month of July, what I picked up for you guys, throat chakra. And that could also be why the hell I had the, <clears throat> <clears throat> I was just fine. Somebody have a problem with speaking their damn truth because they got issues with being by themselves, spirit say. Hell no. Burn the bridge down. Because it's going to free up that money that you've been trying to manifest. That was for a few, y'all. You're welcome. You are. What I got for you guys was investments, awakenings, trials, surrender, obsession, investing energy, codependency, forgiveness, past life, new opportunities, new love, compromise, settling, self-worth. Family ties, assessment, inner goddess, receptivity, joyous times, harvest, simply receive. Ain't that some reconsideration, entrepreneurship, healing, independence, creativity, rebellious spirit. All right. So that's for some people. Come on, dear. some y'all got a Sagittarius coming to interrupt shit and then leave right the hell back out. Ah, puppy ass. My second. That's for my second child. You know, I, I I forgot what sign I told that to. He was a human in another life. I'm 100% fucking sure of it. But he couldn't humble himself because he's hell now. So I could just imagine. <laughs> If he could talk, he would cuss me out many nights. When I be on the phone at nighttime and he feels as if, you know, I need to be asleep because he tired. He growls. So, if you you know, you talk to Mocha after certain times, he may hear in the background. And no, it's not ghosts. It's not, no, you don't have to call no fucking Ghostbusters. It's just puppy ass. And he got an attitude. He's saying, shut the fuck up, bitch. Okay? So, it's okay. I don't give a damn. If I did, you know, hey. <laughs> so I think we have that understanding that I don't give a damn. So he just going on about his business. All right? Look, I made the sun come out with that shit. So maybe y'all need to tell that Sagittarius. <laughs> Once they realize I don't give a damn no more. Yeah, you can't make me give a damn. I, I found my personal freedom. You know, I, I don't give a damn. I got to go. All right? 
Once you stop giving a fuck and surrender and just really give it to spirit, can you really see action? Action, Miss Jackson. What are you saying? It's time to move. Let's get it. All right. Overall energy around the reading. Okay, let me tell y'all, I'm a little insecure. Usually it happens right before Aries. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fucking Aries seeing that they came out, but that's for later on in the reading, okay? I'm ruining surprises. I ain't shit. Well, I'm everything, but yeah, certain aspects, you got to know your truth, all right? Because I'm, I'm something else, just like puppy. Yeah, like attracts like. All right, so <laughs> y'all play too much. I've been in such this playful energy. <laughs> Jokes all day. Somebody told me I was half the insurance man mad as hell at me. Just listen, I, I'm probably about you. Go, you gonna talk about me at the dinner table tonight? Damn it! All right. So, over energy. You guys got the Ace of Spades. All right. So I definitely feel that a lot of you guys are focusing on what it is that you're trying to build. Some of you guys are um, actually entering into new partnerships. Others of you need to stop trying to control shit and just let God do God's job because that's not your part, Aqua baby. Others of you may be having new opportunities around creative endeavors as well as for some of you all, uh, the reason why you're so passionate about it. And if you just stop worrying about things, then what it is that you're trying to manifest is going to come to you. All right. So for you guys, uh, for the month, your angel messages, I'm doing things a bit differently. I did use the Barbieri cards, you know, guys, it's aqua, so I'll be having to get the energy up in that gang gang. All right. So I did use the Barbieri cards. Um, for the zodiac signs, and I mix them with the angel messages, and I asked Spirit to allow me to be the vessel, um, and I just really just went with, you know, what I felt, and so some of you guys could be possibly dealing with it, and the fact that, that hold on, this is the second thing, because, you know, queries like detail, and I'm with the shits. The fact that each angel message fell out on the particular zodiac sign, that I believe it was tied to, this is what I feel in my soul, inner knowing okay i feel like this message is going to be for some who are dealing with this particular zodiac okay for damn sure or the energy of that zodiac especially seeing that both of those damn particular energies you guys got aries and cancer so let me give you the juice first the fact that mars is in leo okay and with that Mars being in Leo, Leo is more of a fixed energy. So if you're dealing with a Leo, they may be making very impulsive decisions, you know, where maybe they weren't making none before. There may be rapid movement either away or to. OK, uh, I, likewise, Aries, you know, sometimes it takes for people to make selfish decisions on to make the decision to be selfish with their energy within their external. And I feel like for some of y'all who are dealing with either that Aries or that Cancer, there has been some type of, I feel like a bombarding or someone feels as if, if the outside just shut the fuck up, then everything would just go smoothly because you and that person's connection is solid. But someone has issues with how they were raised, the perception of, it, 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 it's, it's their perception, how they perceive things. They really give a damn about how people feel about what it is that they're doing. This could be you or another person. But there was a strong need and this strong lesson around not not needing the validation of others, okay? You could have a million-dollar idea, but you let one, two fucking people tell you because they ain't never had the damn balls that you got. Sometimes you got to hold your nuts. Shout out to uh, my favorite Aquarius. Tap, tap. Hold, hold your nuts. Sometimes you got to pick them up. And in the midst of picking them up, you know, you got to walk a little different. You understand? Because your nuts hit me. You know, would you, if, if you, for those of you who are juvenile fans uh, from the NO, you know, because I'm from Houston, Texas. Um, what he said, and some of y'all may not know it, but, you know, fuck it. If his name is Juvenile, he's a, he's a nice rapper. I like his accent. It's real. It turns me on, okay? But he said, I walk with a limp because my nuts heavy. And I like, I ain't going to tell you what the rest he said. Because some of y'all are already feeling that energy too. Y'all hot. See through the damn screen. I'll be here talking forever. I didn't want to make these videos long. So let me get to the damn point. Point is, some of you all, there is there needed to be an activation of, for you all, Aquarius, the throat chakra. For you to learn how to speak up for yourself. People do what the fuck you allow them to do. So if you allow a person to come in and act a damn fool because you have this fear of being alone or you just have this fear of losing what it is that you've invested in, it's a need to surrender that fear and it's a need to surrender that control around 
what you feel should be lining up the way that you want it to. Because some of y'all could be holding on to some straight up fives when spirit trying to give you a tip. Shawty is a 10, a 10, a 10. Some of y'all didn't met that 10 and you afraid to truly let this person in. But there's a need for you guys to surrender to the fear of vulnerability of really focusing on what the fuck can go wrong. Or for that matter, focusing on situations and building on situations where motherfuckers have showed you who they are. Believe them. All right? Let's get it. I'm turned into mama mofo around this bit. All right, so the again, the cards, zodiac signs that you guys got with Aries and Cancer. Angel message for the month. There's a focus definitely on you guys' heart chakra as well. The activation of the heart chakra through some type of divine partnership. For some of you all, this has to do with a cancer for sure. Okay? Someone with either a cancer, either a cancer, some moon or rising, I'm hearing. I didn't pick up Venus, but I did hear some moon or rising. Strong rising. Rising came out strong. Strong, strong. Or in the sun. Okay? Check people's charts. Ask folks their birthday. Do it in a cute way. Oh, when your birthday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when is your birthday again? Because, you know, I was stalking. I didn't see that. When you tell people you stalking, it's, when you tell people, I've learned. Aquarius, y'all be trying to, y'all be trying to be slick. I've learned that when you say what the hell you, I'm an Aries, I tell a person, y'all be stalking. Yeah, when I was stalking, I didn't see that your birthday was on there, so I wanted to ask. You know, that type shit. That just, and they think it's funny. They're going to laugh. Out nine out of ten, they're going to laugh. And you can tell a person that, you know, I'm I'm a psychopath. And because you told them, they're going to think it's funny. It's the perception is a motherfucker, you know. But, hey, at least you told them. So if they do some shit that hit the ting button, you know, you kind of knew what to expect. But there's a need to balance. Balance Aquarius. Right? There's a need for me to tell you guys to watch your temper during this time, too. On Aries, Phil, relationship harmony. Arch Archangel. Archangel Ragio. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Okay? So I definitely feel some of you all may be dreaming of your ancestors. Some, someone lost a mother figure. I'm seeing anywhere between the last eight months, eight weeks, eight years for some of you all within. Okay? This could be within this time frame. Some of you all, there's a cycle that's trying to be broken that has to do with the matriarchal the matriarchal figure. I hope I'm saying that shit right, because can't this also retrograde Mer Mercury's and damn cancer. Okay, Ugh. I'm not ready. All right, I'm not ready. There's a need for you all to communicate what is missing. It's like there's some type of divine intervention that is happening behind the scenes. You guys definitely need to have blind faith and trust in the unseen. Way more than you actually believe in the things that you see. Because some of y'all are actually come to terms. Some of y'all are really shifting how you even view religion, your values around things. Some of y'all feel like you've been tricked. Bamboozled. When it comes to your value structure. When it comes to your perception of love. How you view love. Some of you all, there's a whole... There's, there's some type of evolving having to do with the shifting or the reprogramming of how the mind space connects with the emotional space, but they find sync one in providing that harmony as far as that harmony within you all being able to ground and send your energy to become the master manifestors that you guys are, but it's your vision. You needed to change the way that you view instead of seeing what the hell you don't got or what's not working, or for that matter, focusing your full intention on one person or one individual or one situation, focus on what it is out of that particular situation that you wanted and put that vibration there. Put that vibration out. Project that outwardly. And believe inwardly, like your ass believe in waking up tomorrow, okay? Some of you all also may be talking to the stars during this time. Oh, and they hear you. There's a need for some of you all to connect to. I, I've never heard of a star goddess, but I heard it. So, I, so you guys do some research. There's a goddess that's connected to the stars. This goddess is connected to some type of, you're like the architect. This goddess could be could have some type of tie to Egyptian or Kemet. 
I'm seeing hieroglyphics. So this could be some type of Egyptian. Some of you guys could be studying ancient Egyptian texts or see like it is ancient Egyptian texts. Others of you could also be wanting to go to school for philosophy. So if somebody wants to go back to school, there is a matriarchal matriarchal figure. This has to do with a strong um, mother figure. This could be a great grandmother or a grandmother that is guiding your path during this time. Some of y'all you've been heard of this person as a spirit guide during this time as well. The energy, the angel message that fell on top of cancer, y'all, is angel therapy. Our angel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Okay? So for some of you all, some of you all may be practicing actually using, um, that's probably why I felt the, put my, put, I've been feeling to put my crystal ball in these damn, uh, but this is a 3D damn, I mean, this is like a loom, but for those of you who are trying to read crystals or read crystal energy, when, somebody's trying to read crystal balls. And it's been, it's, it's divinely inherited, like you, 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 you divinely inherited to that gift. Yeah, my words may be fucked up. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Others of you, you may be, um, there's a need to connect, probably why I put this, there's a need to connect with the rose quartz crystal. Some of you guys may be connecting more during this time with the rose quartz crystal. Having to do with love, receptivity of love, healing. It's a healing energy, a grounding energy as well. Others of you, there's a need for some of y'all to connect to get to the water. Some of you guys are connected to some type of water goddesses. Others of you, there's a need for you guys to set your... There's a, there's a need to focus on your... Align your intention and make up your damn mind on which way you want to go. Some of your ancestors will be coming through, through your dream space to assist you with that during this time, y'all. Okay? Right, so I also pulled some... Um, Osho Zen Tarot, you know I I can't be want to tell you the truth, okay? Shout out to one of my favorite Virgos. But um I put some of the Osho Zen Tarot. Um just see where your energy was and what is um the advice for Aquarian during this time. For some of you all, this is about releasing control, surrendering control. You guys got to go on with the flow card, okay? So some of you all, this is a need not to Try to force another person to pour out their emotions. You know, there's a need for you guys to connect with the inner child within self, okay? And by doing that, that that's going to assist you with kind of not running people the hell off or, for that matter, making people feel as if, you know, you don't know how to express your emotions or as if you're cold. Some of you guys are tired of being, it's like some of you are, there's an energy of like tired of being labeled or there's a particular label. Someone there's a particular adjective that keeps coming about when people um tell you about yourself, Aquarius. It's actually going with the ebb and flow of the universe, but that also finding that ebb and flow within self. Okay. We also got the new vision card. Okay. So some of you all may be also dreaming about alchemic symbols, okay, or like some type of sacred geometr geometrical symbols. You may be um, researching. Again, this has to do with like ancient texts, um, the concepts of evolution. Some of you all are also focused on law of attraction during this time. Others of you, what it is that, and there's a need for you guys to balance with, and when I say make a damn decision on which way you want to go, what you want to do, some of you all are feeling like, well, am I making the right decision? What am I doing? The, what you're doing is allowing other people to tell you if you're making the right damn decision. What feels right within the self? Does it feel good to go with the damn flow of things and how other people march to the tune of another person's drum or hold your damn nuts? Y'all like, like the nut dip? Hold your nuts. There's a need for you to hold your nuts. Majority of y'all want to hold your nuts. You have to do something different in order to attract different. You have to be the vibration in which you're wanting to attract. So if you wanted to attract someone who's open and receptive and not afraid to be vulnerable, who's not manipulative, then that's aspects of yourself not to judge, hell no, but connect with them and be one with them because that's how you see through the smokes and the mother, through the smokes and the snakes in the damn garden, even, even when the grass is low. You understand? It is 
transmuting that energy, that fixed energy, taking on that energy of duality and finding the balance within you first to first understand that it's your belief and it's your thought, word, action and the alignment of those things that builds on top of that vision to actually bring you your harvest, okay? So, the energy harmony. A lot of y'all may also be seeing 333 during this time, too. It has to do with expansion. Things are expanding in your life. Even for a lot of you all, it has to do with consciousness, awareness. Um, through reflection, okay? Through you being grateful for where you've been. When you really look at where you are, not from a judgmental place, not from a comparison place, not from a, you know, well, because I didn't have this, I lost, not from a place of feeling conquered, but from a place of truly evolving, learning how to take your pain and turn it into your damn power, really connecting and giving that energy that you want to put out to be healers. Some of y'all want to be healers, but you're afraid of how the church folks is going to perceive your gift. If you're going to be looked at as if you went to witchcraft when you have a greater understanding because you chose to expand your consciousness and keep reading. And them motherfuckers chose to keep reading one book. Come on, somebody. Guys, lastly, got the rebel. Like this has to do with leadership, releasing yourself from your own perception of what ha what you've been taught as wrong or right, but gaining 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 your own greater understanding and first being aligned with that that is your own greater understanding by taking this time to not look at it as a period of loneliness, but look at it as a period for those of you who are detached or there has been some type of separation because I did hear alignment and mending fences. So I definitely feel like I'm speaking life into people who are. Afraid to, holy nuts, jump out there on faith. Yeah, a lot of things can go wrong, but you never know if you never go. And if you never know how the, if you never go, how the fuck do you grow? You can't do the same thing and expect different results. That's a form of insanity. Release yourself from the shackles. This rebel is an innovator, an architect, a builder, a philosopher. Very wise, creator, leader. You uncomfortable at that motherfucking job because you you the one who's fated to do the hiring. That's why. I dare you. A lot of you guys are limiting God. By you trying to control instead of surrendering, trying to control situations. The reason why a motherfucker can't get it together, they can't get that job, they can't line it up is because they're not supposed to be the person that, that you're supposed to be lining that shit up with. Period. There are past life aspects here that I feel very strongly that there's energy of the surrendering aspect that needs to be healed. The, the, the energy of facing your damn monster in your closet. Some of y'all got a fear of being by y'all damn self. And a lot of you guys have been over given to situations, but you're exhausted and you can't even sit up here and deny that damn exhaustion, period. You're exhausted because you're at war with yourself when your higher self knows that you've already won the war because of the good deeds that you have put out. You didn't need that fuck the person or you didn't need that person's shallow mind or they're not non-expansive mind or they're not so conscious as you're, you know, they, they don't have the understanding that you have. But some of you all, they didn't have the foundations that you had. And when I say the foundations that you had, your strength. Because on the outside looking in, some of us like myself find it very admirable. But we never know it, Aquarius, if you don't open up and share that because you live in the place of who might hurt you, who might do this, who might do this. Yeah, the past did that. But you should know how to see it. You should know how to see if it quack like a duck and it moved like a duck and that my ass flack is a fucking duck. Okay? Duck, duck, goose. What are you going to do? You're going to stay in that place scared of the damn ducks because you got bit? Or you're going to get your ass up and know that your ass need a bow and arrow next time you go the fuck out there. I got something for your duck ass, okay? Let's talk about this love life. Let's get into it, all right? Some of you all, there's a focus on issues around the mother. Karma, past life karma that's followed you into this life around the mother. Some of you all may be focusing on or looking at your mothering skills going back and kind of feeling 
uh, a bit guilty doesn't mean for you all to release yourself from guilt. Release yourself from blame. Release yourself from judgment. Release yourself. There's there's a releasing that needs to occur. This damn eclipse energy. This eclipse energy saying you can't take that with you, Aquarius. Even if you try, I'm going to cut that shit short. So there's a need for you guys to release. Reflect. Okay? Renew. Rebuild. The season of the reef. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aquarius? Some will rather as one of the cross watches for the month of July. What messages do you have within the love? Some of you guys will be moving forward away from a fire sign. Either you going, yeah. This could be, and some of you guys, some of you guys, this could also be moving away from somebody due to them having find some type of financial lack. Some of y'all are going to just come to the damn truth about it. That this person has some type of addiction issue. Some of you all, some of you all, um, <laughs> some of y'all got an earth sign. That's been trying to manifest you back in their life. They feel empty without you. Whoever this person is, they mirror your, they mirror, they mirror the aspect of you that still needs to heal with this fear of being by themselves, a fear of abandonment. And this is what's preventing things from moving forward. So both of you all are focused on what could go wrong before you even give the relationship a chance on what could go right. Because I do feel for some of y'all, this is moving forward away from that feeling of lack. Moving forward away from uh, overindulging in substances to try to mask or band aid that feeling of lack or being left out or feeling as if you lost. You're gaining a different perception during this time about a situation. Some of y'all could be moving towards a Scorpio or moving away from a Scorpio because you're coming to the realization that you just really want to lay the situation, uh, set, lay the situation to rest. I feel that if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, this person wants to heal a situation they want to. That's the, okay. I also heard men's fences and I also heard rising. Okay, so this person can have a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius in their rising. I definitely feel like some yeah, some of you guys are definitely laying a situation to rest when it comes to a fire sign. You just working on healing, healing, healing yourself. Yeah, moving forward. Some of you guys, <laughs> some of you guys are feeling. You're holding all these damn burdens during this time from your past that you're still needing to heal from. And they're just doubt, fear. Some of you all are gaining your confidence back. I do see you stepping back into your power, taking your power, taking your power back in a situation possibly involving a cancer or moving towards a situation with a different perspective and seeing um, where accountability on your part needs to be had. And I do see a reconciliation being possible. You guys being able to heal the situation and move away. Yeah, somebody, y'all didn't, some of y'all have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person, okay, some of y'all could have moved away from this person. This person wants to come back and actually offer their reciprocity. Some of y'all, this person wants to offer you an apology. Some of you guys are ending the cycle, okay, ending a toxic a toxic cycle, possibly with a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Leo, or another Aquarius, and it has to do with you feeling as if you're over, you're overgiving in a situation, and you're just feeling as if you want to work on yourself, work on your finances, and keep your options open. But some of you all, okay, yeah, some of you all, this person is coming in to offer a couple of that is going to be slow moving, especially if you're dealing with a Leo. Okay, some of y'all, this person is they're slow in offering their love because this person. For one, is not financially stable. They don't feel confident in their finances to be, really be able to uh, build on a solid foundation with you, okay, when it comes to moving forward in a relationship or there's some type of financial issue having to do with some type of toxic ties that they passed. This could be an ex-marriage, having to do with someone who they have children with or somewhere where some energy has been invested. For some of you all, you're holding on to an unhealthy or you've been holding on to an unhealthy connection with someone uh, or this person, you, because they it's, it's, a, it's a someone... Someone needs you to feed their ego because they put on the mask as if they just really, really, really just this big shot ass person or this bad bitch. But to be very honest with you, they feel like a little sheep inside because I feel like this person, you have been the person to feed their ego, to give them this confidence. So somebody went out there and thought the grass was greener on the other side. But I definitely feel like someone wants to come and offer their cup to you, but they want to offer you little by little. I definitely feel like this person is opening up just enough for you to, you know. They, they, they want that ass, okay? They they real hot. And I feel like that energy is mutual, okay? For Aquarius. You could either, some of y'all could also uh, see, yeah, some of y'all could, this could be you that's watching. Some of y'all could be finding out something about someone's children or something regarding someone. 
Yeah, someone giving the two situations. Someone got karmically caught up trying to use somebody for money. And the person who they use for money, they end up getting their ass pregnant. And I feel like this person has been trying to hide that from you. But it's coming out during this cancer season, as well as during this Mercury retrograde in cancer, okay? So this could even be moving slightly into August, okay? For others of you, some of, some of you, some of y'all are even shifting the way that you even offer your, like, how much energy you give into a relationship. There's a need for you guys to release the release the need to over accommodate. Because for some of y'all, y'all got people looking at y'all as if you're fixing the aspects of them that that's still broken behind a matriarchal a matriarchal figure. Some of y'all attract people who got serious fucking mama issues. And it really it really, really, really reflects in the way they project within your relationship and how they treat you. Some of y'all, this person could be watching. Some of y'all, somebody finna get a fucking reality check in a situation. Well, someone could have been lying, okay, in a situation. And you ask someone and it just didn't sit right with you. They're saying trust your intuition. Someone finna experience a catalyst situation to finally release something, be able to truly release what was invested, truly release the surrender control over trying to hold, over, hold on to a situation that don't want to be kept. And Spirit is saying the outcome is brand new, 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 okay? For some of you all, this person is actually coming back and offering you new, new. Others of you have a new relationship or some type of transformation around a relationship with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, also a Taurus, okay? For some of y'all, this could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right? But I feel like somebody did something very slick. <clears throat> it's coming to the surface. Someone was trying to control the situation or prevent someone from moving on i'm seeing also like they coming in strong because somebody didn't seen some shit online or then heard it through the damn great I, I also call my damn uh my page of swords with the fiber rods that child this shit they they didn't heard it through the damn grapevine so they went to go check the check and they found what they was looking for okay i definitely feel like for some of you all um some of y'all dealing with a fire sign or earth sign, especially if this person is a Capricorn towards Virgo who you have children with. I feel like you've been internally conflicted if you want to let this person in. Right now, this person is stealing some immature ass energy. They're giving you just enough for you to open the damn door because I feel like for some of y'all, you might have closed the door on the person, but you left the damn window open. So this, this person feels entitled to be in your life. And for some of y'all, this could be because you have children. But understand this. For some of you all, you've been... Allowing this person in your energy to some y'all still been allowing this person to smash and dash. You're ending that particular, you're ending that cycle. You really want to focus on what it is that you want, which is commitment. And then you doing so and focusing your attention on, on, on just the fuck that you call in the motherfucking emperor. For some of y'all, this involves a Gemini, okay? Things could be moving forward with a Gemini. Some of y'all could be moving away from a damn Gemini or Scorpio or starting something new. Others of you, you could also be indecisive on something that looks very, very, very fruitful, very abundant, okay? Um, possibly with a Cancer or a Pisces. Others of you, some of y'all could be having a water sign in your energy that needs to make a decision between you and the mother of their child. Or, and, it's, and for some of y'all, this decision has to be made fast. There's timing around this because some of y'all was dealing with somebody that was a trickster. And it, they was trying to... Create a damn plan B, but plan B, plan B blew up in their damn face because they didn't plan. Plan B blew up in their face because somebody should have wished they used the plan B. Okay, now I don't believe in abortions, but you know I got a sense of humor. Fuck it. But someone is y'all be careful with who you have a sex with, especially if it's an Earth sign that you already got kids with. This person don't want you to move away from them, y'all. This person also is. They, they are, the only thing they committed to is they damn self and they juggling ass lifestyle. Somebody's in love with Tatiana. Some of y'all, this person could be trying to hold on to you by giving you little by little penny pinching because they know, they know that you may need some type of financial assistance. Trust your fucking intuition. And question a person's true motives. And don't rush into any damn thing because when you, I've learned when you don't rush, a motherfucker will really show you what the hell they really here for. Okay? So you guys, ultimately overall, let me see the overall um, outcome for Aquarius' money. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely uh, going to finally choose to invest in your damn self and actually start that damn business, make a decision. Yes, get out your head and actually jump out there and make a damn decision. Some of y'all, you're inviting in new children. Congratulations, Aquarius, okay? Or y'all finding out that y'all damn partner is. Some of y'all, you've been inviting a damn Leo.
I'll come new, new, joyous times, okay? After actually releasing something. For some of you all, you're moving away from the, the yeah, that feeling of what once was in the past, what didn't work out. You're going to take them damn two cups and you're going to fucking build a goddamn, uh, I can't even think of nothing real quick, shit. <laughs> you're going to take them two cups and you're going to move. That's the two of cups. That's the soulmate. Yes. For some of y'all, you're going to take them damn two cups and you're going to march, live. Live right, live right on into some divine shit that is blessed. You have the sun card with the lovers and the five of cups, baby. Five ring shit. Some of y'all also may be seeing five, five, five. Others of you may, I'm seeing, see, uh, be seeing four, 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 having to do with your stability. But some of you all, patience is going to be your big, is not, it's not your best friend during this time because it is literally making you, you're being forced in the damn corner to surrender control. And as soon as you do, the thing that you've been waiting to come in and hear from, they come in playful, okay? But they come in. And for some of y'all, it's going to leave you in this space of being disillusioned or aloof. Some of you guys have the opportunity to renew a family situation. For some of y'all, it is victory, okay? For others of y'all, truth is, this person is... Some of y'all, if, if you were a third party and you found out that someone was married, you did not know, okay? For others of you, somebody is trying to put somebody up, okay? I feel the energy of somebody who is married, okay, wants to put somebody up. Somebody, you could be having financial hardship. Someone could be telling you that they're moving away from a marriage, okay? For some of y'all, this person could have tried to be slick and try and, you know, control how the money go in a marriage or whatever when they really had the intention to leave and they went and laid some of their pipe down. And the reason why they acted funny is because they got a new baby on the way. They thought they was scot-free and they not, okay? For some of y'all, this could also have to do with freeing yourself from a marriage or for, from some type of commitment. Or some of y'all, this have to do with this catalyst situation being some type of legal documentation coming to your damn house because the person who this person thought they was leaving is out for blood, okay? For some of you all, there is... Yeah, some of y'all are ending it with a Pisces. I feel like there's some type of rapid change around communication that comes, yeah, regarding the third party situation. What's done in the dark? When motherfuckers want to pull their cup in other people's cup, we'll come to the light. And I do see the outcome of the Queen of Swords with the book, Ray Charles to the Bullshit. And then ironically, they come back to back. Ray Charles to the Bullshit. Someone is really, really sweating fucking bullets right now, okay? What they're not saying, Aquarius. Trust yourself, all right? I just literally, somebody got mad. Somebody going to be mad at me? And I am hearing confirmation in your dreams. Trust your dreams, Aquarius. They may be a bit intense. You also may be having regression between this life and the past life. Pay attention to the surroundings within them. If you see, um, I was telling someone this earlier. If you see people in like pilgrimage-ass clothes, but then you pass up a fucking Geico sign, you know, know, know that, the, the, that the, there is a regression happening. There, there, There's a fusing, okay? There's a lesson. There, there's a, what, what, the concept of the dream, the foundation has to do with repetition, cycles to be broken. It's like some type of key map or um, answer key to release in a certain situation and how it ties with your soul contract and what you asked to come here for. In order to walk into your blessings with that sun card lovers and the king of pentacles and shit. Listen, free your mind and the rest will follow. Hey, because it's time. I don't even think that's the words. But you guys, this is what I have for you guys for love and everything else. <laughs> It is always a blessing to be in you guys' energy. I love you guys. You guys make me feel so damn serene. Get y'all damn views up. Y'all got to pass up Gemini so we can go live. I don't know. Y'all going to run a race with my gems. I don't know. I don't think Libra going to give y'all too much fight because my Libra rising, they, don't, they they love me, but they don't, they don't think they like me like that because I don't even talk about it because, you know, Mercury and retrograde, I may put my damn foot in my mouth. But I want to talk to y'all live, damn it. Let's get it. And you guys, check the community tab. I do have a current special going on. Love y'all. Bye, y'all. Love and light. Namaste.